Ashton Kutcher, it's a pleasure to have you. Cheers. Thanks and for having finally me. to meet you because I feel here. one of five, what is it, six million already? That is the real deal, huh? Yeah, because you know you get to think that you know you, and then I get to see you. Um, so you want to do your deal thing first? You want to tweet? My deal? No. You no, want to no, tweet no, that good. you're no? Good. Because I saw what you did to Letterman, and I wanted to tell you that you can skip the sitting on. I've then. been, I've been, I've, I've, I've been well represented on the on the Twitter front. I think I'm all right. You can tweet after the interview then. Yeah, maybe after. Okay, <laughs> great. Depends. We'll see how it goes. But you know, I've I've hosted so many you know statesmen and and, and uh, politicians and people who set the agenda, but I think none of them knew that what they said actually reached six million people a second after. Well, I wouldn't say that my, my what I say reaches six million people. What well, you second tweet is you know. Is yeah, but so so that's an aggregate, right? And then you think about the you know that's global as well. And not everybody's on. I'm not on a Twitter right now. You're not on Twitter right now. So not everybody's on. So you know, if you think about 24 hours in the day, probably half of the world is sleeping at any given time. So that cuts it down to like three you're being million. Modest, three million. But you and know, then you take about you know maybe the average person's on there for 30 minutes a day. If you have an account, you're very active. Um, you know, out of a 24-hour day, there's generally not. But you know, many these politicians, listening. they take, uh, you know, they they work hard, and they go from town hall to town hall, and they hire all these spin doctors and whatever. And you know, here you are, uh, one of the hundred influential people in the world, next to Clinton and Obama and so on. And you know, is this where the world is heading to? I mean, that influence and power is something that is not really or it doesn't have to necessarily be connected to what you what a person does you know i still believe that that true connection requires a handshake um, i think that there's you know real value in that handshake um, i think that there's uh... there's shared consciousness that can take place uh... in in a non-linear fashion not face to face um, they can actually defeat the obstacles of time, space, and motion. Um, but I, I, at the same time, I think if you really want to have true connectivity with someone, I, 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 think, it's, I think it takes more um, but did you ask over yourself, time. Did you ask yourself, for example, what it says about us as a society, the fact that you became king of Twitter, Okay, and pass a constitution or, or like, like CNN. What does it say about society? You know, one can say that it's what's interesting over what's important, you know, the news, it was the number, and here you came and you know, just wiped them off the map. Well, I think, A, I think people want to fight for an underdog, right, and I think I was, <laughs> I was kind of the underdog in, in that particular situation. Maybe there's an underdog working trying to put, take your place now. But I, 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 yeah, there definitely is, but I, I actually think that, that what people were connecting to was not my voice, but their own voice, and the power of their own voice. Um, and, and the opportunity that can exist in, in a landscape that is flattened. Um, if you wanted to have a voice on television, um, you know, the, your best shot was getting a public access show in the United States, you know. And if you didn't have millions of dollars, it, it, you know, imagine how di difficult it is in the United States to get on one of the, one of the broadcast media stations, right? Um, a, you have to have an unbelievable idea. B, you have to have a connection with the studio executive. You have to go and you have to pitch it. Once you pitch it, you have to be, have your show piloted. Once your show is piloted, they have to go through it and scour it and edit it and change it and you know, change your voice and change what you're saying. And we want this character to be a woman and we want this character to be African American. And, it, and so and you can go above by the heads. time it gets spun out, it may not even be your vision if you ever make it to the air at all. And, it's, it's a true long shot, and there's, there's a limited number of slots, right? The Internet is an infinite number of slots, an infinite number of channels, and an infinite number of authentic but programs. But still, you weren't, you, know, you weren't just someone. You were already, you know, an yeah. actor, a known but there were a lot celebrity. People wanted, you know, people want to hear about you because they want to feel a part of your life. I guess that if you were only, you know, giving them philosophical ideas, it wouldn't be that interesting for who's, them, and you know that. Who's Guy Kawasaki? Do you know? No. Who's Adventure Girl? Who's I, Justine? Guess, no. Who's Kevin Rose? 
They have more Twitters than you? They no, no but they all have over a million. Who are they? And they have, they have broadcast channels that are larger than most of the cable networks in the United States of America. So, so you say that has nothing to do with the fact that you also provide them well, with information listen, about I, their life, that listen, your life, that they really want to know? I, 100%. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not discrediting the value of celebrity in, in, in that space and in, that, in, in one's ability to aggregate audience because you can use and leverage traditional media channels to actually drive engagement in your off on untraditional media channels. It's also very well, tricky, I guess, because you know, if you provide them with information about your personal life, then they always want to m want to know more. And if you stop, maybe they'll go away. I mean, it's a really tricky line there, right? I don't. I, I mean, you went I, very far. I don't. A, I don't think I went that far. I didn't go any farther than what they go. Um, but you're known, and I mean. Yeah, but the, but you think you know? Some people like took like this. Thought this was like a great travesty that I could possibly post a picture of my wife in a bikini on my Twitter channel, right? Like that was something that was awful. Go open any tabloid magazine, any tabloid magazine, and tell me you can't find a picture of a famous girl in a bikini. But like you know every, what the difference is? But, the, but you know what the difference is? When you do it on a tabloid, then it, it, it's like a paparazzi picture. Okay, but you know what the difference is? When you do it in a tabloid, you is don't have editorial oversight. I can make sure the picture is good when it's my channel. <laughs> I'm sure in your case it's always good. But uh, no, yeah, I mean, listen, the, yeah, at the end of the day, I get to control the heat when it's on my channel. When it's off my channel, you know what? That's their deal. They're going to control it. They're going to say I, what they I, want. Are you sure you can control? Because, you know, when, it, when the news isn't that good news and when it's going into areas where you don't want to go in there. I think then... you can maintain the long tail of media. And, I, and now, that being said, I don't think that it's, I don't think you're always going to hear what you want to hear. And the truth is, is you can look at the responses of, of anyone's channel on any channel that there is, and some people aren't going to like it. Some people are going to have a problem with this. Some people are going to say this. And one of the most dangerous things is that from a journalist, the thing you should be most worried about is that, that somebody's going to get your beat before you get it, right? I remember when Michael Jackson died. I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and I was shooting a film. And there was, there was this like pop-up of like, did Michael Jackson die? Question mark, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm watching this on Twitter. I'm like, oh my God, like this is not, this hasn't hit the news yet. I want to be, you know, maybe I could break this story. I don't know. I'm not even there. I'm calling people. Did you, hey, did you hear this? Is the thing, what, what's going on? Did Michael Jackson die? Did anybody, and then, you want to be and, first? You want it to be the well, first Well, because one? you break it and all of a sudden everybody's retweeting your thing. And, you, and so people, but it's shallow journalism, right? Okay. Because people just want the beat. And so then you have, you know, TMZ breaks it. And then the next thing 10 people do is they say, TMZ says that, da -da, that Michael Jackson died. And so you're, not re you're reporting what another tabloid says, and you're trusting that they were responsible about their journalism, and nine times out of 10, they're not. So the real danger in social media is that you can, sp you can, you can spread damage like wildfire, and you can spread good like wildfire. Is it addictive? I mean, always, you know, trying to get as many, um, you know, followers, tweeters. I think, you know, it, it becomes like it dominates your life at the end of the day. Should I do this? I think it, it can. That, what? I think it definitely can. I mean, did, did it I dominate that, yours? It's fun. Um, I think any time I started to feel that way, I would go, okay, I'm taking a break. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like. Give uh, me a moment like that. When was the um, last time? Well, I think last week I didn't. I think I tweeted like four times or five times or something. Like I was just like, you know what? I don't. I don't want to put energy into it right now. And I, I went on like vacations and I actually programmed like four days of, of tweets um, of like content that I found and things that I wanted to share with people. So I just programmed out the four days and went on vacation and put it aside. And I think my channel is uh, less about me and more about content that I'm sharing so but you know I, I but you know that. that you have to give in your personal life for people to listen to your content you know that's the deal with your with your You'd be uh, surprised really you think yeah. that if you take away all your personal things in, in Twitter that still follow you yeah really isn't that naive Maybe. I mean so you're gonna be naive now <laughs> you know I think you know I think it's interesting if you could choose I think as long as you keep listening to people. As long as you keep listening. I think the, the, the key to social media is that people want to be heard. And 
as long as you keep listening, as long as you, you care about what it is that you're sharing, I don't think it always has to be personal.